Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Kyle. And I'm Vicki. And today we're doing a Q&A mukbang. Um, I posted on my Instagram for you guys to send us some questions. So we're going to be answering that today. And we're going to be enjoying some tum yum hot pot. We've got some flank steak, meatballs, seafood, veggies. I have egg noodle. And I have some white rice. And some quail eggs. And we'll go ahead and get started. So one of the first questions is, how old is everyone in the Wynn family? You go first. I'm 26. And I'm also 26. And then we have an almost seven month old baby. All right, so, let's see, how did we meet? Oh man. <laughs> this is probably the most asked question and also the most <laughs> awkward to answer because oh. how it happened was kind of It was uh, a little awkward. Okay, so pretty much I met Kyle through his ex-girlfriend. Yes. Yikes. And at the time, we weren't trying to pursue each other or anything. It kind of just happened. Um, we hit it off as best friends, and she apparently saw more than we did. And obviously, she was right because yeah. we were married. Yeah. Explain your side. Well, pretty much the same exact thing. I mean, uh, Vicky was dating somebody at the time, and I was also dating somebody at the time. And we just mm -hmm. clicked really well. And, uh, I'm super glad that we met, for sure. So, shout out to uh, my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> You're so wrong for that. Okay, let's see. What other questions do we have? That's enough, right? What annoys you the most about Kyle? Same question, but about the key. Oh, God. Go ahead. That's a hard one. Because there's a lot of stuff that <laughs> you don't like that I do. Um, what annoys me about Kyle is... The fact that I have to tell you multiple times to do things. <laughs> For real? <laughs> that definitely is probably the most annoying part. Okay. That's about it, I think, actually. Really? Like, that's really the only thing that gets on my nerves. No way. Well, like, that really gets on my nerves that I think is annoying. You all obviously do other things, but you're my husband, so that kind of happens. Mm -hmm. Well. Okay, your turn. <laughs> this, oh, is, this should be interesting. This is really hard. Um. Can you repeat the question? What because... do you find most annoying about me? Is it that hard? Yeah, because there's not that many things. Okay, this is this has just been starting recently. All right, every time I try to go to the gym, because <laughs> we have to go to the gym separate times because we have a, a six month old. She's always giving me crap, man. Like, oh my God, you're leaving again. Like you go to work, you go to the gym and you come home. Like that's, that's probably the biggest thing. Not that bad, right? I guess. Yeah. Okay, so another question, kind of opposite about that. What's the, the best thing about each other? Let me go first. Okay. So I feel like you're going to take what I'm going to say. Um, yeah. It's the best thing that I like about you. I think it has to be that you always support me no matter what. Um, in everything that I do. I mean, even if it's something stupid, you know, you, you'll say something smart, but... Happens often. <laughs> but you still support me. You love me for who I am. For sure. Sentimental. Good answer. It's a little sentimental. <laughs> um, what I love most about you, that's you're a really good dad. Yeah. Willow. And I'm you're, say that too. you're always yeah. putting us before anything else. You're very thoughtful. I try to be. Try to be the best husband and dad I could be. Put some more Eat veggies. something and oh, we'll do some more questions. This is so good, guys. I wish you guys could smell this. Oh, this one's fun because my brother is behind the camera. How would your brother describe you? I think he would say I'm really cute. And he wishes he could be me. Yo, stop lying. <laughs> and that like he couldn't have had a better sister because I'm really cool. Um, and when I move, he's gonna miss me. He's probably gonna cry every night and also starve because I'm the one that beats him. Um, pretty accurate, right? False. <laughs> How would now, you describe me? Well, I know, well, I've got two sisters, you and Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> the heck? <laughs> uh, I mean, you're, you're cool, I guess. You buy me stuff. <laughs> so you're just using us. Yes. 
Wow. Okay. Wow, bro. All right. Figured you're kind of shady like that, but whatever. <laughs> um. Let's see. What else let's we got. see. There's some good ones. Did you pre-read these? No, I'm kind of just going through. Okay. Them. Uh, what was the most memorable gift you received? Hmm. Hard question. That's is. hard. Well, like from each other or just in general? Um, what let's do I... both. In general and then from each other. Okay. The be okay, I'm gonna go first. Okay. Again, all right, the best gift I've ever seen. Received. Received, excuse me. <laughs> Um, Willow, you gave me her. That was my answer. Yeah. And what was that one? What was that other? But that's such a typical answer. No, it's not. Yes, There's it no is. way. It's because why would someone, why would parents be like, oh, my Xbox. I don't know, some parents. <laughs> but. Okay, what about best gift? Not for me. Best gift, not for me. Mm hmm. Hmm. I don't know, that's hard. And who was it from? I don't know. There's nothing like really memorable that I can think of right now that I got from somebody. Not at the moment. Okay. I think the best gift I've received from you, obviously other than Willow. Trying to one-up me? That's really hard. Yeah. I can't really think of anything. Because <laughs> you've gotten me a lot. There's oh. quite a bit. Quite a bit guys. <laughs> Your love. Uh, no. Get that out of here. That doesn't count. <laughs> it does count. Uh, you want to name off some things? Okay. Name them. What have you got me? What have I got you? I got... I got... Okay. We got a house together. That's pretty awesome. We both yeah. achieved that. Um... See, it's hard. I okay. I think. Was it for your birthday I got you your new phone? No, it was my push gift. Oh yeah, push gift. Okay, I think my favorite gift you got me is for my birthday this year. You paid for my tattoo. Mm -hmm. That is for Willow. Okay. And then my favorite gift that wasn't from you. Oh, the bear that Victor and Jaden got us. Oh yeah. That so was awesome. for our baby shower, my brother and his girlfriend um, made a build a bear with a voice box of my grandpa saying "I love you too," and he passed away before I had Willow. So it's by far like probably overall the best gift I ever got. Yeah, that was that was awesome. Turn that up a little bit. Oh, definitely. Oh, that's twice. Mm -hmm. Let's see. What would you tell your 15-year-old self? It's kind of interesting. So we, met, we met at what? 16, 17? We met at 16. Why is this funny? I need to know. Nothing. It's, it's personal. <laughs> if you guys want to know more, comment down below. <laughs> some more questions. And we can do this again. Alright. I'm about to comment down below because now I'm interested. <laughs> okay, well... Think of something that's like not personal. Well, oh uh, yeah. When I was going through puberty, I was a really angry kid for no reason. <laughs> and if I could talk to myself from the past, I would definitely tell myself to just chill out because I was wild, straight up. Do you think something caused you to be angry, or just the fact that you're a teenage boy? I was just a teenage boy. Just rebelling against my parents, just being a... Who do you think you were like most angry towards? Mm. When I was 15? I, like I guess, who did you take your anger out on? That's the question. Mm. You probably won't remember, it's my brother Kevin. We definitely got in a lot of arguments and fights. But you guys are the same age, so it's kind of... Yeah. Doesn't happen. What about you? Um, if I were to talk to my 15 year old self, I would tell myself to not waste my time with a boyfriend. Oh yeah. Um, because that was a waste of like three years of my life. 
and like all of high school. I feel like I could have enjoyed my teenage years more if it wasn't with him. Um, just because he was really like emotionally abusive. And at 15, you know, you're young and very impressionable. So that definitely did take a toll on me. But obviously, I moved on to better things. Guys, you have no idea how good this is. It's so hard to try and talk and eat at the same time. I'll we'll just eat and then we'll do some more questions. I'm actually proud of myself. This is really good. Oh. Victor's buying the camera and uh, he's starving. So. He told me just to buy the ramen packets of this. How shameful. You hungry? <laughs> ah. <clears throat> All right, so. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me, let me put some more veggies in here. Okay. Put more meat in here. Mm, yes, yes. Fish ball? Oh yes. I forgot about these. What do you like most about your family? Uh. So I guess give a little background on your family, and then uh. what you okay. like most. So I'm a military brat, which means. I grew up in a military home. Um, I was born in Cali and we moved to Korea when I was like four. We lived in Korea for a while and then we finally moved back to Washington when my dad retired. And so like everything growing up was pretty strict. The old school army days were pretty pretty hardcore. So but Besides the fact, I think the thing I love the most about my family is no matter what is going on in their lives, they always check up on me and see how well I'm doing. Um, if I need any help with anything, you know, they're always just basically in contact. I think is the biggest. The biggest thing that I like the most is because with me being gone all these years, like them staying in contact definitely kind of held me together. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so for me, our family dynamic is a little bit different. Um, since Kyle is a military brat, um, he has a very small family, and I come a very large family. My mom is one of eleven, and my dad is one of six. Um, and I'm really close to my mom's side of the family literally like my rock my everything and the awesome part about um, my family is even though there's a lot of us like christmas there's i would say probably like 30 of us and um we all get along there's never any fights we're always having fun um and then kind of same thing they're always checking up on us making sure we're okay yeah. and they are so amazing with willow like um the amount of help that we get with her regularly i'm definitely gonna miss that when we're in hawaii but that's why I'm moving my brother and his girlfriend out. They don't know that. But now he does. I'm just using him. I usually use, you use me. <laughs> it's like, it, it's back and forth, so it works out. Did I answer that question? Yeah. Oh, okay. Let's see here. What are some turning points in your life? Like good, bad, like... I guess both. Dang, why are all these questions so personal, man? Um, some turning points, huh? Probably for me when I joined the army. That what led a, you to that, though? That was a big one. Um, <clears throat> well, growing up in a, an army home, it's just something that I wanted to do. I wanted to kind of serve, you know, I wanted to serve my country, and. So I went to college at Eastern Washington University for a year. I was in the ROTC program. Well, in 2011, the uh, Army had big budget cuts. The ROTC program got cut by like, it's like 80%. So the active duty slot, the active duty commission slot um, that was slotted for our graduating year, excuse me, <clears throat> um, it was already filled. So I was pretty much done with college. Uh, I left college. I after finishing out the first year, and 
I was working for about a year and a half, just doing numerous jobs, um, construction, bank. I was even a customer service rep for Verizon for a little bit. And I finally joined the Army. Yeah. Um, I can't really think of any turning points in my life. Honestly, like, um, it sounds like kind of spoiled of me, but I feel like I had it pretty easy. My parents are great. I've always had good family support. Um, I didn't really have trouble figuring out like what I wanted to do career-wise. So I went um, to school to be a medical assistant directly after high school, and that's what I've just always done. Um, turning point. Can you think of one? Mm. Oh, when I broke up with my ex-boyfriend from high school. Yeah. That was probably the best thing I could have done for myself because I was young and dumb again and thought like I would spend the rest of my life with the school. Thank the Lord I did not. Oh, that's hard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Any quillies in there? Yeah. It's kind of salty with the noodles. Is it? Mm -hmm. With the rice, it's pretty good. Not too salty or we got? We'll do just a few more questions. Okay. Let's see. A lot of good ones. Tian sent us a lot of good ones. So shout out to you, T. What's the most impressive thing about each other? Oh, you go first. I've told Kyle this and it just makes his head bigger, but he is Strangely good at literally everything. Whatever. Like, for no reason. Like, even when we went to Skateland, you stuck, you were like Bambi for like two seconds. Mm -hmm. And then you were good at it. So that kind of hurts my feelings. Because <laughs> I have like terrible hand eye coordination and I don't really pick up on things fast <laughs> unless it's like something I'm really interested in. Yeah. But he's literally just good at everything for no reason. Mm. And you're laughing because you know it's true. Growing up, my parents put me in a lot of different sports, so I literally played every sport. That's the only question one more time. What's the most impressive thing about each other? Yeah. Oh, that's hot. <clears throat> oh, that's what is depressing. Yeah. Most impressive thing. Sounds cheesy, but there's a lot. I'm a pretty impressive person. Right, Victor? Okay, so... Okay, maybe not. Maybe every husband might say this about their wife, but... Don't be basic. Don't be basic. I mean, try not to be. But it's like one of the most impressive things that Vicky went through was the was it called preterm labor? Yeah. Yeah. Well, and labor. Too. Yeah, preterm labor and like just the whole birthing process was the most incredible thing that I've ever seen anybody do. Excuse me. And it was insane. Like, if I was in that much pain, it'd be game <laughs> over. There's no way. Well, she had to no come way. out one way or the other. Yeah. Okay, this one is hard, but you have to answer it. Who's your favorite dog? Pick one. Damn. So just a little backstory. We have two Labradoodles, um, Stewie and Theo. Mm -hmm. And Stewie is cream colored, and he's about 50 pounds. And Theo is chocolate. He's about 45 pounds, and mm -hmm. they're polar opposites. So we got Stewie first, and he's the most chill and relaxed pup ever. Super easy to train. Mm -hmm. So we're like, oh great, you know, he was awesome. We'll go through the same breeder and get another dog. And then we got Theodore. Oh my gosh. All hell broke loose with him. He has so much energy. He can't barely ever sit still. And usually said after they turn two, they chill out. Hasn't happened yet. But he is the sweetest boy ever. Yeah, he is really sweet. And then Stewie has an attitude of a teenage boy. Man, that's so hard. But You gotta pick one. They won't see this. If I was to pick one. I think it'd have to be Stewie. Really? Yeah. Why do you say that? Because Stewie's the first pup I've ever like actually trained. And he learned so quick, like he bonded so well together. I took, yeah. I took 30 days of leave, and while Vicky was working at the time, 
I, mean, I stayed home with him like all day, every day. Mm -hmm. So potty training him was like super easy. He learned so many different tricks and he was potty trained within a week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was pretty quick. He had like very minimal accent. Yeah. Okay, well since he said, said Stewie, even if he didn't say Stewie, mine is Theodore. Yeah. yeah. I love Stewie, he's my first baby. But now he got an attitude problem. He does have an attitude problem. And um, Theo's like my emotional support dog. Like, okay, we kind of emotionally support each other. Because <laughs> he has really bad separation anxiety and he calms me down and I have anxiety. But he's so sweet. Everywhere Vicky goes, uh -huh. he goes. Yeah. Like, if, if Vicky's out of his sight, he's the, like, he's he gets the up right away, like, runs around and looks for her. It's insane. Okay, let's do two more questions. Don't want to make the video too long. Right. Leave some questions for our next mukbang. Oh, see, I'm not gonna do that because that'll probably just make me cry. Mm. Those all from Tian. Mm-hmm. Jeez, Tian. I can hear Willow laughing. Yeah, I can <laughs> so do. cute. How did you know? Pretty much, how did you know I was the one, vice versa? She's so cute. <laughs> you guys might be able to hear her. There she goes. <clears throat> how did I know you were the one? Mm -hmm. I don't know, like, there has to be some kind of like, sounds cheesy. Genetic code writing. Yeah. That's like, hey, you're meant to be with this person. And <clears throat> I don't know, just I think it was as soon as we started clicking. I was kinda like you had Man. a girlfriend. I know. You <laughs> <laughs> But I think I was like I was pretty sure I was like, man, I could really see myself <clears throat> with you. So it took you so long? That's for another video. Yeah. Um, so I always tell Kyle this, but he doesn't believe me, and I feel like women have this, like, intuition that men don't have, and the first time I met him, granted, we were both in relationships, mm -hmm. so this sounds, like, really shysty of me, I didn't act on it at the time, but I told him, it was, like, the first time I saw him, like, something just clicked before, like, I even got to know him, like, I felt like I was going to be with him, and sure enough, like, three years later... Mm -hmm. Started dating. <clears throat> okay, let's do one last question. Let's make it a good one. <clears throat> oh, how has Willow impacted your life? That's a hard one. I feel like she's impacted our life in like so many good ways. Yeah. You can't really think of like anything bad, but she's she like gives. For me anyways, like she gives a purpose. Yeah. Like honestly, I'd be so lazy and just like stay in bed with the pups all day if I had the choice to, but I have to get up. I have to be a mom and I love being her mom. So honestly, the happiest, cutest baby in the world. Yeah. You guys and I'm not being biased, okay? <clears throat> She's literally the cutest. I don't know if it's spicy, the soup's spicy or it's just hot. My I spice tolerance hot. is terrible. By the way. But, yeah, so I feel like she was giving me a purpose. Yeah. Okay. Which has um, made me a lot happier. Because I have to be happy for her. And I think that's what helps make her a happy baby. Yeah. I feel like because of Willow, she's taught me, like, patience, you know? <clears throat> because I'm very short-tempered, you know? And I'm, I'm a lot calmer now than I was before, before Willow. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, so. But it's like as soon as we had her, you were, you've always been like super patient with her. Yeah. Okay, so just one last question because if I don't answer this, she's gonna get mad. Mm. Why is Willow's godmom so hot? <laughs> um, that's a good question. She's ridiculous. But the real question is, why you built like that? <laughs> No, um, Willow definitely has the best godparents, and we couldn't have picked better godparents for her. Mm -hmm. Um, she's actually upstairs with her godmom right now. 
while we're eating. Yeah. But we're gonna finish up here because we've been answering quite a few questions. <laughs> my brother's dancing behind the camera. <laughs> um, and then my brother and um, Will's godmom's gonna come join us to finish all this because there's still a lot left. So thank you guys for watching. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and turn on that bell notification so you don't miss our next video. Later. Bye.